Hi everyone, this is Vikas from Networkers Home and today we are going to do a very interesting lab for SD-WAN uh, topic and that would be called basically hub and spoke topology. So let me write it. So I am going to record two videos for hub and spoke topology. One is going to be uh, the first method which I'm going to show you today and then tomorrow there is going to be another method which uh, I'll show you on the next video. So by default as you are aware of the communication between uh, all the V edges in Cisco SD-WAN is based on full mesh topology right so if you, you basically want to have uh, communication from here you can have a direct communication from VH4 to 3 also VH4 to 5 similarly to this and similarly to this right so by default is a full mesh but there are situations where we don't want that there are many situations where you do not want to use uh, same amount of uh, you know same kind of topology so what you want is you want your traffic to pass through hub and spoke right so you basically want to pass through it without having a uh, direct uh, uh, IPsec tunnel to each other right so how do we achieve it as I said there are two methods to do this we are going to do method number one today and then I will show you another method in the next video so let's go first and check if these guys are talking to each other directly uh, using a full mesh or not right so I have a loop back here 128.111 and I want to ping uh, 129.111 and we will see if it is going through directly through this side or is it going uh, through the hub basically. So what I'll do here is I'll first go to network we'll pick up device number 5 which is VH uh, site 19 right and I'm going to reach to site 18 from here so I'm on 999 I'll use my loopback I want to go to this loopback and I'll see how it goes using my private link so you see that when 999 wants to go to uh, or when this subnet or rather I'll put this loopback here this is another loopback so when 129 wants to go to 128 which path is it taking 129 wants to go to 128 it is taking the path of 888 which is a direct one so 999 is using uh, is using a direct full mesh to 888 to go directly what we want we want to uh, to it to change right so what do I do I'll go to this we don't want direct communication right 128 is directly going toward uh, through this ni site 19 I want it to communicate through this site this site T lock is 7.7.7.7 .7 right now what is happening he is going through a direct one so the T lock of this site that we are seeing here is 8.8.8.8 .8 8 .8 and it's this one is 9.9.9.9 .9 .9 .9. So I want 888 or 999 not to have a direct tunnel to each other but they should be passing through 777 but right now that's that is not the case because 999 can directly go through 888 so what do I do I'll create a policy so I'm going to use method number one what do I do I'll create couple of sites you see that some sites are already there and if I try to delete that I think they are part of some uh, policy or something I'll not be able to delete so I've created three sites I'll show you how is that uh, the sites are created I just named it site hub and number is 17 similarly 18 spoke 19 is spoke 17 is hub right then I have opted for creation of a VPN which VPN this topology is for VPN number 15 and I've also created a T-lock my hub T-lock I just need my hub T-lock which is 777 if you look at my topology there are two links actually on 777 but this link I have shut down so I'm using one link all, only right now at this time so what I'll do is I'll, I have these three items ready I'll just go to next 
and then I will basically uh, go to hub and spoke and I'll give it a name hub spoke hub spoke and I'll say topology okay and I'll choose VPN number which is 15 and this is going to be hub add spoke and then spoke 19 so you can see here hub site number 17 spoke 18 spoke 19 right the next thing that you have to do here is you have to advertise your T log to these spokes so I've already created the T log 7.7.7.7 .7 and I will go to save save spoke and now I'm going to go next and I will give it a name and apply this policy so for VPN number 15 right okay and uh, if we want to preview the policy we can see it here you see that tlock is being set right save the policy once you save the policy we have to apply it to vsmart right so i'll just go ahead and apply it to vsmart once this is done i will go back to check the same communication i'll go back to the same uh, vh5 site 19 and I'll try to go to site 18 but this time it should not be directly I think it is going to take the path of my hub right so try to simulate you see that now it is actually passing through 777 same network sorry I'll put it 129 right so it's passing through this also we can uh, verify this by looking at here show IP route what are my routes for side uh, the other side right this is my site 18 these are the right routes for site 18 right where are they coming from these are coming from 777 what if I remove this policy I'll just go ahead and remove this policy and then we'll see will it go through a full mesh I will deactivate this policy and I will come back to this again you see that what is the path for him hub right but now once the policy is removed it will go back to its initial state of direct mesh and it will have a route of the same route it is having now through 888 right and there are two links active basically so I have not uh, opted for the second link so uh, I should have gone and uh, selected for no no this is not for this this one for the hub right so this is fine this is the output I do not want these routes to come through the direct neighborship so what do I do I'm sitting at VH5 remember that I'm on site 19 these routes are site 18 right and they have to pass through site 17 so what we'll do is I'll just go back one more time and I will activate this policy and you will see the difference again okay so let's see if it goes through hub and spoke or not you see that what was the stage before applying the policy on the top same networks 888 direct neighborship as soon as the policy is applied what happened now 777 right so this is method one of hub and spoke topology in the next video I will show you method two of doing the same task but using custom T log control using the control policy using the central control policy like this one but not hub and spoke topology method but a custom T log control method so that's all for this video. I hope you liked the video. Thank you.